Some people, especially techies, think that dedicated e-book readers don't have much of a future in a landscape that's going to be increasingly dominated by multifunction wonders like Apple's iPad. For other people, though, the lack of all those bells and whistles is a feature, not a drawback. They don't want to use their e-reader to play Angry Birds or surf the web. They just want to, you know, read. Those are the folks at whom Barnes & Noble is aiming its new Nook e-reader. It's like the Amazon Kindle, but if anything, even easier to use. For the most part, the similarities between the Nook and Kindle outweigh the differences. They both use the same grayscale display technology called e-ink, which can be read even in bright sunlight. They both cost $139 for a Wi-Fi only version, and they can go for weeks between charges. The Kindle's a bit thinner, while the Nook, which weighs a mere seven and a half ounces, is slightly lighter. The biggest difference is that the Nook has no keyboard or navigation buttons. Instead, it has a touch screen. You turn the pages by tapping or swiping the screen. There are physical ridges next to it that you can use instead, but I found they required too much pressure, and I rarely use them. Some previous attempts to put a touch screen on an e-ink device ended up making the words dimmer or blurrier, but I didn't find that to be the case here. Barnes & Noble's also figured out a way to reduce the page turn screen flash that annoys some Kindle users. Five times out of six, the Nook's words just redraw themselves on the display. Only on the sixth turn do you get that momentary black screen. Although the Nook runs Google's Android operating system, you wouldn't know it. Almost all traces of it are hidden, and the Nook is also lacking some things the Kindle has, like a web browser. For myself, at least, I don't miss all those functions. I've got other devices that do them and do a much better job. The Nook is good for one thing and one thing only, reading, and it does it simply and well. For Bloomberg News and Business Week, I'm Rich Jaroslawski.